I'm back and I'm resuming my build on a USS Enterprise. But before anything else, I'd like you to please subscribe on this channel so you can get updates on this build and other diorama projects lined up. As you know, the USS Enterprise has a rich service history. It goes way back. The most prominence was made during the late 60s, 70s, 80s up to early 2000s. With this, the model era you would have to choose varies to a wider degree of options. The USS Enterprise has had plentiful changes over the years, and this includes the lower deck hangar bay interiors. One would have to be careful in making those representations from its structures to air wing groups to aircraft types. In this regard, I chose to represent the late 90s to early 2000 era. The hangar bay interior decals were from David Scale models, costing me Now, I'm not claiming what I did to this build is accurate, and in fact, it's nowhere near as close to the working enterprise. I just had to make do with a few Google researches and a last minute help from a former US Navy sailor. Here is a set of aircrafts I built last year. Don't worry guys about the Sea Stallion. It's not included in the kit. And it's, it's gonna be inaccurate if I include it. The kit came with a batch of aircraft, so I did not want to put it to waste. I made minor adjustments to a few to test how I can improve the details, including drilling and carving out the canopy, then adding a drop of clear resin. I'd say it did what it intended to do, but the shape was rather inconsistent. The rest of the aircraft I left alone and decided to just color it black.
Using the chopper, I cut some styrene to spice up an otherwise bland aircraft kit. These are the trumpeter kits and these are the Tamiya. Trumpeter aircraft kits for the F-14 are absolutely fantastic. I like the open wing specifically as it looks fearsome, but I prefer the Tamiya kit for the close wing version. I chose the VF-14 top hatters for the squadron of F-14 that had a black tail collar. The CAG or Carrier Air Group, as I read from Google, was aboard the USS Enterprise on April 14, 2001, supporting the Operation Southern Watch and Operation Enduring Freedom. But wait! There's a history of fighter aircraft color schemes that black tail might not be correct. You see, the F-14s or aircrafts during the 70s and 80s sported colorful libraries or paint schemes. This included white flaps, colored tails, etc. As the low -vis directive came in the 90s, these were removed. The early 2000s had the more subdued colors with only two use of gull gray. The exception, however, with CO and XO respectively. So, off of the black tail and white flaps, I went for the VF-41 Black Aces instead. Thank <laughs> you. 
this finishes or completes my interior hangar bay build as I now cover it with a styrene sheet and fix the wiring for the lighting. So hang on, see me on my next build, thanks for watching. Shout out to Jason Keys who helped me out with this build for some inputs.